All right, y'all. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. There's going to be kind of a time jump, but bear with me. It's going to make sense in a second. We are stealing a page from Adventures in Aradia's book, but instead of rolling for sandwich, we're going to roll for soup. So here we've got our proteins, what we're going to do for the base, like veggie-wise, the actual like stock and sauce of the soup, hearty veggies, and a starch. Granted, it's not much, but if you do it well enough, you won't need a lot. If you haven't seen any videos from Adventures in Radia, I definitely suggest going and checking him out. But some friends and I have been playing Pathfinder for the last few months. It's a D&D ish style game. And I decided since they've been feeding me really well that I would pay them back with with some good food, uh, some good hearty soup for this time of year. And since I couldn't find any good old recipes, I decided what better way than to just roll one up myself. All right, so I don't have a dice tray or a tower. So my new mythical coloring book is going to have to do. Uh, but let's start off with the protein. I've got a D6 here. Four, which means we are going with, I should really put numbers on this real quick. But let's see, chicken, pork, beef. We're going with sausage. All right, I fixed that. So let's keep going. Second one is the, the base of veggies. So you got your mirepoix, holy trinity, stuff like that. Let's go five, which is the batuto. Let me look that up and let you know what it is. All right, so batuto is onions, carrots, celery, parsley, and garlic, which is similar to the French mirepoix. And that's the pre-cooked name. When it's cooked, it becomes sofrito, but it's Italian, so not be confused with the Spanish sofrito here at four. So it's going to be pretty good. All right, now we're going to go with the last D6 of the game, the base. Let's see. Hopefully it's something not conflicting. Four. Which is a beef slash chicken stock. I'll probably go with... Probably go with a combination of both and kind of go like a... Um... Similar to like uh, an Italian wedding soup. All right, we got our two D8s. Let's see where we're at. All right, a two and a five, which means sweet potato and hominy. Huh. All right, and for the last roll, we've got a four quinoa. All right. Let's go. Like I said, this is going to be quite the ride. Uh, pretty sure somebody out there is going to have made a similar recipe to this. But I'm going to do my best. Uh, I'm going to spend the next few days sourcing ingredients. But for y'all, it's only going to be a couple seconds. See y'all. I almost forgot to film the cooking. Uh, but all I've done so far is the prep. I wasn't going to film the cutting and chopping anyway. But here we go. I've got two packs of Italian sausage. I'd already started it. Over here, we've got onions, carrots, celery. They didn't have any small packs of carrots and I wasn't gonna buy a bunch. So I just grabbed the matchsticks, parsley, and some fresh garlic. Got the hominy over here. I've got white and yellow. But, and then I didn't feel like getting and cutting up a bunch of sweet potatoes. So I just grabbed two bags of frozen. It's gonna be just as fine. As far as the seasonings go, I'm pretty much just going to do salt and pepper. I'm going to go basic. Uh, as far as liquids go, I'm going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine. And I kind of cheated a little bit. Not cheated, cheated, but I got vegetable stock and two things of chicken, one reduced sodium, and one regular stock. Let's go. I also got rainbow quinoa for it. Uh, but I won't be adding that until tomorrow because we're eating this tomorrow. So I'm going to add it like 30 minutes 30 40 minutes before i leave the house i'm gonna heat this back up get it nice and boiling then i'm gonna add some add the quinoa and it should cook and then finish cooking because i got like a 30 minute ride to go over there basically just getting a little bit of browning on the meat then i'm gonna add the onions carrots and celery let that cook for a little bit get it all nice and brown 
Then I'm going to add the garlic and the parsley. Let that get fragrant. But we'll come to that when we get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, we're going to go ahead and add the veggies. And I always like to leave the greens, the green tops on the celery when I'm doing like soups or sauces. I mean, it's still edible. And I mean, it's good not to waste anything. But and we will let that cook down until it gets soft. All right, I really meant to buy a tripod today, but I kept forgetting. Um, but like I said, I added it. We're just going to get it all mixed up and good. And get the sausage cooked and the veggie soft. I'm also going to add just like a very minuscule pinch of salt. And I don't have a pepper grinder, but I'm going to add some black pepper that I have. Uh, probably uh, almost, a, almost a tablespoon, and that's probably all we're going to add for right now. Record right, but that's a bulb and a half of garlic and a half a bunch of parsley. It's smelling really good even before I put the parsley and garlic in there. Now now that that's all mixed up, uh, I'll probably let it cook for about five, ten minutes or until the garlic starts really smelling and gets soft. Uh, or if I start it, start smelling it, get a little bit of a burnt smell to it because I don't want that to happen and I'm immediately going to deglaze that pan. All right, I could tell it was missing something, so I'm adding about a teaspoon uh, about a tablespoon each of onion powder and garlic powder straight in there All right, so stuff like this is why I wanted a tripod or something I can hang up But I'm putting a cup of a white wine. I just got Pinot Grigio. It's in a little box I'm gonna add it in and scrape all that good fond off the bottom of the pan All right, so it took the cup of wine and a box of chicken stock to deglaze the pan I'm gonna let it come up to a simmer boil off that uh, wine for about five solid minutes then I'm gonna go ahead and add since there's a good little bit of liquid in here already I'm gonna go ahead and add the hold on I'm gonna add the sweet potatoes first while before I add the rest of the stock and then when I get done with that then I'm gonna add the white and golden hominy uh, after the other two broths all right I added the sweet potatoes uh, about four or five minutes ago just added the hominy I've never had hominy at least not that i can think of uh so i'm it's i'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to taste but right now it's pretty it's colorful um i might save the rest of the parsley and just toss it in there for some color tomorrow but we'll see how it goes okay so i added the box of chicken broth and the box of vegetable broth and then about a box's worth of water as well uh it's smelling great i'm gonna let it come up to a boil turn it down to a simmer let that go for about 20 30 minutes and then stick it in an ice bath well it is officially way later than i wanted to be up tonight but i just did a little test uh, i got like a quarter cup of it as like a tester like I said, it still needs the quinoa put in tomorrow, but this is good. Um, first attempt, I'll probably, as it cools in the morning, I'll get a lot of that. You can see it's a lot of fat from the sausage. I didn't drain it, but it's going to sit overnight. I'm going to put it on an ice bath for like an hour, chill it down as much as I can. Uh, half wrap it, stick it in the fridge and i'll let y'all know the final verdict tomorrow well i say tomorrow it'll be tomorrow for me it'll be like a few seconds for y'all just like i said earlier there's some there's many parts many parts of this video all right part three of the soup added the quinoa let it come up to a boil uh, it's going to finish simmering in a few minutes for about 10 to 15 minutes this looks and tastes so good with butter okay so location four on the soup i'm back home everybody loved it i think everybody had like two possibly more bowls worth of it i served it with some sourdough bread and just butter um i had three jars left over it's pretty thick i used it's about a cup and a half so the bag of quinoa the whole bag of quinoa that i had um and it'll probably get a little bit thicker throughout the day um which means if I want to, I can thin it out or I can just eat it as is, which 
I like my soups thick, so I'll probably just leave it. But I will put the recipe in the description uh, for one platform, and the rest of it um, I will just kind of put in the comments where to go find the full recipe. But if you follow along, I kind of talk about how much I put in there. But highly recommend it. Um, this will not be the last roll for soup. Like I said, go check out Adventures in Aradia. Jacob does a lot of good stuff on there with his sandwiches and going out and seeing different people. Uh, but I am going to portion this up. I am stuffed from the day and eating a bunch of soup. And I will enjoy this for lunch tomorrow, possibly dinner, and then one other time this week. Y'all have a good one.